Hi guys, welcome to the psychology of everything. You are invited to subscribe to our channel. Another American celebrity will be moving to Ghana. Steve Harvey announced plans to move to Ghana on a Steve Harvey morning show on February 23rd while discussing news of Stevie Wonder's plans to permanently relocate to Ghana. Steve Harvey is an American television presenter, comedian, actor, broadcaster, author, game show host, and businessman. Steve Harvey told his morning show audience that he intends to acquire property in Ghana. The president of Ghana has issued uh, uh, some special uh, opportunities for African Americans who want to move to Ghana. Mm -hmm. They make housing provisions. They have tax allotments. They have a, a, a huge incentive package that they've created for African Americans. Uh, I've been to the president of Ghana's home. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my good friends is uh, very heavily involved in Ghana when he lives there. He's one of the top businessmen over there. Uh, and it's something that we're definitely going to do is to own property and land in Ghana. And uh, the, ad the, the uh, advantage of waking up in Africa for me, mm -hmm. and I wish every African-American could go see it, is to wake up and for the first time in your life not be a minority. Mm. Oh. I'm talking about everywhere you go. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. You are the majority. Nice. And if, uh -huh. unless you've had that refreshing feeling that yeah. when the police pull you over in Ghana, it is to stop you from something you did mm -hmm. and they're not going to shoot you. Yeah. That's, 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 uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I you can live your that. life in peace. Now, I ain't saying it's crime free cause it's mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. but man, they got some, beautiful homes over there, some beautiful land. It's, it's amazing. It is not the picture of the propaganda picture that America has painted Africa to be. Peace is priceless. The psychology of everything supports the repatriation movement. We believe repatriation will certainly produce various benefits. Having a range of options is in itself empowering. So we have recognized that repatriation is definitely an excellent solution. It will reshape the identity of African descendants, particularly the descendants of enslaved Africans. We believe it will enable African descendants to acquire a stronger sense of self and to experience a greater sense of belonging. And indeed, you may encounter challenges because the continent is still developing. However, with, with your expertise, this can be advantageous to you. It's an opportunity for you to shape Africa's development. Success happens when preparation reaches opportunity. Our civil rights leaders fought for the right to liberty and to be treated as human beings. Decades later, we are still pleading for basic rights and recognition. If you continue to fight for your, rights to, your right to exist, when will you find the time to reach your full potential? If you continue to fight, for your right to basic physiological needs, such as the need to breathe, the need to sleep peacefully in your bed, or psychological needs, including the need to belong or to be respected. When will you find the time to reach your full potential? And when will you be able to reach self-actualization? Racism must and we continue to open our arms and invite all our brothers and sisters home. Ghana is your home. Africa is your home. We have our arms wide open, ready to welcome you home. Please take advantage. Come home. Build a life in Ghana. You do not have to stay where you are not wanted forever. You have a choice. And Africa is waiting for you. See this nation smile again.
Uh, and I want to see it before I leave to travel to move to Ghana. Because I'm going to do that. You want to move permanently to Ghana? I am. You are? Why? Because I, I, I don't want to see my <clears throat> children's children's children have to say, Oh, please like me. Please, please respect me. Please know that I'm important. Please value me. Please value me. It is not the picture of the propaganda picture that America has painted Africa to be. If you go to Joburg, it's like New York City, smaller. The yeah. food is exquisite. The homes are amazing. Mm -hmm. And because of apartheid, a lot of the whites built these homes in certain districts with large walls and towers to keep the blacks out doing, mm -hmm. doing the changeover for apartheid. And to just keep the blacks out, period. Well, a huge number of blacks own those homes now. I, okay. I'm definitely working with the uh, Tourism Board of South Africa to do a trip mm -hmm. that I'm going to do through this radio station, this mm -hmm. radio show. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take a black contingent or whatever the word is. And I'm going to take mm -hmm. a lot of people over there so they can see, because it's amazing, man. And as our president said, the destiny of every black man, every African, wherever you are, is tied to the destiny of Africa. And so today we pay respect to all those who were here last year as part of the year of return as we got it. And we invite everybody that Africa is home. Africa is ready. And Ghana is ready to receive you. It's time to escape to the motherland. It's time for us to unite as one in fighting injustice. If one falls, we all fall. Thank I want to use the occasion to draw attention to the injustice that continues to be measured out to our brothers and sisters all across the diaspora in the world, not just to the African diaspora community in China who are being wrongly treated due to the pandemic. COVID-2019, particularly that Black Lives Matter. Racism in America continues to be a deadly pandemic, which over 400 years, our brothers and sisters in the United States of America, Yen for a cure. George Floyd was not the first Black person to use the phrase, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. That is why we gather here today in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in the USA to change the status quo. Racism must end. We continue to open our arms and invite all our brothers and sisters home. Ghana is your home. Africa is your home. We have our arms wide open ready to welcome you home. Please take advantage. Come home. Build a life in Ghana. You do not have to stay where you are not wanted forever. You have a choice and Africa is waiting for you.